Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? It's been a very long time since I've been to my own personal adult playground, the Dollar Tree. Well, I guess now you call it the Dollar 25 Tree. It's still the same store with the same inventory. It just costs more. So a couple days ago, I paid the Dollar 25 Tree a visit and I picked up two El Monterey Extra Extra Large Breakfast Burritos for $1.25 each. The first one was the El Monterey Extra Extra Large Breakfast Wrap with Egg, Potato, Cheese Sauce, and Sausage. The second one was the El Monterey Extra Extra Large Breakfast Wrap with Egg, Potato, Cheese Sauce, and Bacon Flavor. You know you've hit the bottom of the barrel when your breakfast wrap has bacon flavor and no bacon. So let's go over the four ounce El Monterey Extra Extra Large Breakfast Wrap with Egg, Potato, Cheese Sauce, and Sausage. Here's the list of ingredients and there's plenty of them. So if you wanna read them all, hit pause. This is nothing out of the norm for highly processed foods. The serving size is the whole breakfast wrap, which has 400 calories, 12 grams of total fat, three grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 60 milligrams of cholesterol, 550 milligrams of sodium, 59 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, one gram of sugars, and 13 grams of protein. Now let's go over the four ounce El Monterey Extra Extra Large Breakfast Wrap with egg, potato, cheese sauce, and bacon flavor. And you know you've hit the bottom of the barrel when your breakfast wrap has bacon flavor and no bacon. Here's the list of ingredients, and again, there's a whole lot of them. I don't understand. The cheaper the food is, the more processed it is, the more ingredients it has. The whole breakfast wrap has 390 calories, 11 grams of total fat, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 50 milligrams of cholesterol, 500 milligrams of sodium, 59 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 1 gram of sugars, and 13 grams of protein. The instructions say to wrap in a paper towel and microwave for one minute, then turn the breakfast wrap and heat for another 45 seconds. After heating for a total of one minute and 45 seconds, our egg, potato, cheese sauce, and bacon flavor breakfast wrap is ready. So we cut it in half to see what's inside. Unfortunately, there's what you're paying for, an overabundant amount of tortilla with little filling. Enough talking, let's get to eating our breakfast tortilla, I mean breakfast wrap. The flavor of the first bite was pretty good. Not a whole lot of filling and a whole lot of tortilla. But again, the flavor was good. I took one more bite. And once again, more tortilla than filling. But again, the filling was good. So we opened up the other side of the breakfast wrap to show you, the people, what's inside. And like I said earlier, you get more tortilla than filling and there might be just a couple teaspoons of filling compared to a whole lot of tortilla. After microwaving for one minute and 45 seconds, our El Monterey breakfast wrap with eggs, potatoes, cheese sauce, and sausage is ready. Carefully remove it from the paper towel so you don't rip the tortilla. And once again, we cut it in half so you, the people, can see what's inside. Here's what the inside looks like, and it looks like there might be just a little bit more filling. So into my old pie hole, and down the gullet it went. The breakfast wrap with sausage tasted much better. Good enough to take another bite. And as you can tell, the second bite, there's no more filling. Now let's take a look at the filling. This time we just mashed the tortilla to force the filling out. At most, that might be a teaspoon of filling, not very substantial. Pretty watery too. I'm not sure if that's a cheese sauce or it's just wet. And the filling on its own was okay, but not a whole lot of filling. You can make these better and cheaper at home. I guess these El Monterey breakfast wraps serve their purpose if you're in a hurry. For these being extra, extra large and not having a whole lot of filling, I'd hate to see the regular size. I would definitely pass on buying these again. I'd make them at home, wrap them in saran wrap, and freeze them. They'll be better, cheaper, and more delicious. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.